guys, Jerry Campisi here. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about how to warm up properly for track and field, basically sprinting events. So anything from the 100, the 200, uh, the 400, hurdles, uh, long jump, all the sprinting events, maybe even the 800. So um, this is the warm up I did throughout my four years at Penn State running track. And um, it's not the only way to warm up, but I, in my opinion, it's one of the best ways to warm up. So it's a dynamic stretch, which means we're gonna be doing a lot of things and we're gonna be moving the whole time. So you're not gonna be just sitting around static stretching. Mainly we save that kind of stuff for after we work out. So um, I'm gonna pop these shoes off and I'm gonna do some toe walks. So I'll show you guys what it looks like and let's get started. So the first thing we like to do is get up on our toes as high as we can and just walk on our toes. So this is the first thing that we do. This is warming up basically everything from the, uh, the knee down. So the calves, the ankles, all that. Just a straight up toe walk. And we do one of those up and back. And here we do toes in. So you just kind of turn your toes in and still trying to stay up as high as we can on our tippy toes. And we do another one of those up and back. But for purpose of this video, I'll just show you the next one which is toes out, so up with my toes out. Um, one of the reasons we did these also is it really helps alleviate shin splints because you're warming up all those muscles down there and you're strengthening them as well. Throughout all the years that I ran track, I never had shin splints one time, and I think that doing this kind of stuff before we started training was a big part of that. From there, we're gonna go onto our heels, so just pointing your toes up, and you can see the flexion flexion in your uh, shin muscle there and just walking up and we we used to do these like maybe 10 to 15 yards it doesn't have to be super long and you do those up and back and then we'd switch to outsides of our legs and just like really trying to feel and flex those muscles down there make sure they're nice and warm there we would do inside of our legs be careful on this one you can uh, you can't hear my ankles cracking right now but you can screw your shit up if you're not careful and then from those the last thing that we used to do it's a little bit weird and takes some getting used to but you're basically grip, grabbing the ground and then trying to grip the ground if you zoom in teams so you strike the ground and then you try to grip it and pull like that. So when I strike and pull, you might want to start out doing this one slowly, like this, gripping, 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 and then as you get better, you can speed up and just do one round of that. Okay? So after our toe walks, we throw our shoes back on, and I'll show you what we're going to do after that. So the next thing we do are different types of ankle and knee rolls. So we start off with just a toe roll here, and I used to do 10 reps to the left and then 10 reps to the right. Make sure you're really rolling it all the way around as much as you possibly can. Don't just sit here and do this crap. Try and get it nice and rolled. Because when you're running track, especially when you have spikes on and stuff, I've, I've had uh, days where I took a step when I was running onto the uh, white lining that runs on the track. And if I wouldn't have warmed up my ankles and everything like that, I would have totally busted that, busted my ankle up. I would have rolled the shit out of it. <clears throat> That's why we roll them now. After that, we do knee rolls, which is just right here. And you can hear mine popping maybe, because I'm old. And the same thing, 10 one way, 10 the other way. And then we go to the hips. So as you can see, what we're doing is we're warming up the bottoms, going all the way up the top. So hip roll, start small. And what? there's two variations of this. One you're rolling your hips out around your legs and then the other one you're doing your trunk, okay? So we start with hips and we go short circles and just get larger and larger and larger and then do the opposite direction, start small and get larger. And then do the same thing with your trunk. Now your trunk's going around your hips. So we start small and get bigger. Same, same thing the other side. And 
And then the last thing we do is we don't roll our necks anymore because there's different studies done saying that maybe that's not the best way to warm it up. So we just grab each side, pull it to the each side, feel the stretch in the neck there, and then back and forward. And from there, we're not doing any more standing around, so all the rest of this is dynamic. And we're gonna do, be doing a bunch of skipping with different arm movements, and then some leg swings and rolling on the ground. It's gonna be interesting. So basically, we're gonna be skipping up and back nonstop. Um, for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna be going a little bit shorter distance. You probably wanna go like 20 yards, 20 meters if you're on a track. So the first thing we're doing is just a normal skip, nothing fancy, just right here. We're going to start adding in arms, so both arms forward. And then back. Now we're going to go opposite, well, opposite times, <laughs> forward. opposites so one arm goes one way and the other arm goes the other way and backs the other way we're gonna do hugs I just alternate one over the other. Then we do side lateral. And then the last thing we do is karaoke. I like to bring my leg up around. go straight into rolls on the ground. So, right here. Come back as far as you can. Come up to one side. Come back as far as you can. And roll up to the other side. It's basically like a hurdle stretch, but we're using dynamic. And I do seven to 10 on each side. <clears throat> And I'll just keep going for the sake of the video. Next one we do, it's like a Betty Grable, but we're moving. And try to swing your leg all the way around instead of picking it up and going this way. We're actually swinging it up, kind of like a leg swing. And then we roll straight over under our front and just keep going. Roll back over, get up onto your, like this, and we're going back and forth. Don't knee yourself in the face, I've come close. And then we're doing leg stretches, whatever these splits. And you're just going back and forth one way, then the other way. And try to stay up tall too. Don't like bend over and get kind of this crap going on. These are my favorite. Oh, my hips like love me when I do this. And then we go straight to leg swings. So follow me over here. The whole point of this dynamic work warm up is you're constantly moving. So it takes about 10 to 15 minutes. And you should like, when you first start this warm, warm up, you'll be out of breath. Like it's a workout. Did you get 6.30? So just find something, a fence, anything. We're gonna do leg swings right here. I like to get up on my toe, the ball of my foot, and swing it out. 
and try and bring it even across this way as well. And I do 10 each side and switch. And then from there, I swing right around and just do straight on. Trying to get that leg up as far as you can and behind you as well. Switch. And that is the dynamic part of the warm-up. From here, we're gonna go into running drills and some striders. So I'll show you what that looks like right now. So for running drills, the one I like to start out with is just called, I call them nutcrackers. Basically like an ankle pop. So all you wanna do is keep your foot dorsiflexed as much as possible, and we're just popping off of it, keeping our legs straight. So it looks like this. And again, you do it a little bit farther, and obviously up and back, but I'm just gonna move on to the next one. I will do a whole separate video on form running drills and how to do them correctly and what you should be working on. But for now, the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna show you for the warm up. From there, I go to A skips, which is just these right here. And then, same thing, up and back for those. B skip, which is the same as an A skip, except now we're just adding a paw, an active strike. So up. And then from there, I like to do a high knees. You can either do a high knee or a butt kicker. I'll do a high knee, so just right here. Normally that would take a lot longer because you'd be going further and you'd be doing everything twice. And from here, I go into striders. And I do striders one of two ways. I either do them here on the turf and just do a strider like maybe 50 meters, 50 yards, and then walk back and do another one. Or I'll do striders where I walk the curves and stride the straights. So the purpose of this video, I'll probably just do a couple of striders right here. And if you're watching this video as a track athlete, Warming up is everything, guys. So you gotta do whatever you need to do that makes gets you warm for your events. If you warm up properly and you and you like are ready to run a race, it's all the difference in the world, guys. It's the difference between winning and losing, I promise you. So what I like to do is do some striders, and basically what I'll do is just build up my speed as I go. So maybe I'll do like two, three, four, five, six striders, and Towards the end, I'll be getting close to my race pace. So, you know, you're building up into your striders and then before the race, I would take maybe like 10 minutes, just relax, walk around a little bit, get my mind right, and then maybe do one out of the blocks before the race actually goes and then you're good to go. This process can take anywhere from half an hour to an hour, depending on how long it takes you and how long you want to do it. If it's hotter outside, there's all kinds of things to take into consideration, but I'll just show you a couple striders and that'll be it. and before my races sometimes if I felt like I needed a little bit more I would do a little bit of jogging before I started that warm-up um, or even just more striders at the end and the other part about warming up is getting your mind right I used to when it when it came to big races NCAA nationals Olympic trials stuff like that I used to start thinking about the races the night before even the week before um, so visualize what you want to do it can go a long way and then obviously making sure you're physically ready to run so that's it hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm going to do a lot more track videos so hit that subscribe button like the video if you like what i'm doing and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace it's crazy sometimes thinking you can own a piece of the world it's just floating through